What's up, I am with Zyke Paws. Today, I got Uber Suggest versus KW Finder or Keyword Finder, which is a better keyword tool. You're gonna wanna check this out in its entirety. Okay, so here I am in the Uber Suggest dashboard for the overview for this specific keyword, a product I used to drop ship, I used to sell. If you've been watching my series on keyword uh, tools such as Keyword Shedder, um, Uber Suggest, you know that I like to use the Diaper K keyword because, well, I have experience with this keyword, so I know how how uh, comp how competitive the market is. So I, I put in Diaper Cake in here, I click search, and I put in I put it in KW Finder, I click search. Okay, now uh, Uber Suggest is 100% free. Okay, 100% free. It's hosted on Neil Patel's. Uh, website okay newpatel.com kw finder if you register with them for free you have five searches a day for free okay now i use i use k in the past i use kw finder with a tool called keyword shitter i have a tutorial on that somewhere within this uh, video you can check the right corner or inside the description i'll show you how i use keyword shitter in conjunction with uh, kw finder okay not only to find keywords that have a lot of search value, long tail keywords, but keywords that I can compete with, I'm sorry, compete for and rank to the top of Google with, okay? So, how do they differ? So like I said uh, in the beginning, Uber Suggest 100% free, KW, KW Finder is free uh, up to five searches a day if you sign up with them, okay? Now, we can see here, if we go scroll down here, it says Diaper Cake gets 40,500 searches a, a month, and yes, this coincides with KW Finder. So it says your cost per click. This is how much you'll pay per click if you were to advertise via PPC on Google. It says uh, 0.34 cents. And it says 35 cents, about the same, okay? Now, PD here stands for the paid traffic, the, the competitiveness for this keyword. Let's say if there's any analytics for that. It says the same, 100, okay? So it's pretty competitive uh, if you were to advertise for this keyword, okay? Now, this is the this is the um, 43 is the how the the likelihood of you if you competing for this keyword for organic search volume okay free search traffic if you wanted to rank on Google for this keyword diaper cake this is 43 which is not incredibly difficult but it's not easy yet. it's not it's not easy either right and uh, Uber suggests gives you a 60 which is more towards the difficult side, okay? So that's pretty interesting stuff here. Now, um, again, Uber Suggest has more information here. So this is where KW uh, Finder ends, basically, okay? You can go here, Uber Suggest, and click Keyword Ideas, okay? Keyword Ideas, and you can find more keywords associated with this, and you can scroll down and find these little green blocks. These mean that this keyword, whatever keyword I'm targeting here, I'm looking at here, is relatively easy to rank for, okay? So if I were to click on this, check for example's sake, um, Neil Patel's little head will pop up and it'll, it'll say something like, this keyword is easy to rank for, and it'll give me a percentage of, a, uh, of chance I have to rank for this keyword. In this example, 66%. If I were to do that with this tool, it would use up one of my uh, five searches that I'm allotted a day, okay? So if I were to click on this, it would use a one up, okay? So I think I've already used, actually I've already used this today, so this would be my third time using this tool. And that's, not, not now that's three. I only have two more, okay? Now, Uber Suggest 100% free. You don't have to worry about any of that, okay? Another cool thing about Uber Suggest is you have related terms. Terms that are not, that, that, that don't use your root keyword, okay? Because all these uh, suggested keywords right here, they all use your root keyword, right? For example, here at Diaper Cake, right? And you have a lot, bunch of long tail keywords with your root keyword. Related uh, talks about, or not talks about, but provides you keywords that are associated with your keyword in one way or another. So Diaper Cake is a type of baby shower gift. As you can see here, you have baby gift, baby gift basket. So it is associated. This is correct information. Again, it has the same information like we had in, in, in the suggestion bit. It has the uh, volume search for month. It has the amount you have to pay per click. It has the competition level if you were to do PPC or pay-per-click advertising, and it has the competition level for organic free search. Your the, the likelihood of you ranking at the top of Google for your for your for your keyword. Okay, 
And, uh, you know, if you go to, I believe, autocomplete, this maybe gives you a something, something close to what Uber suggests would call related terms, but nothing is changing here. So I would say, if I were to click on this, it would import some uh, keywords. I usually use, when it comes to KW Finder, I usually use just a suggestion. So it's not giving me related keywords, it's just giving me more keywords that Google has, okay? And again, if I were to click on any of these, oh, it's, it's unable to process. So it's a little buggy in that regard. Or maybe it's my Wi-Fi connection. I got pretty, fi I got, I got pretty fast Wi-Fi, so I don't think it's that. But um, yeah, this is uh, freezing up on me, where Uber Suggest is not at all, okay? So that's another uh, demerit for KW Finder, another plus. Oh, here we go. Another plus for Uber Suggest. But we got more with Uber Suggest. Let me show you. I go to SERPs and Analysis. SERPs stands for Search Engine Ranking Position. It gives me the top 10. Sorry, that's not true. It gives me the top 100, top 99 uh, pages, uh, posts, I should say, for my keyword. Okay, so I have, I have Dabber Cake here. If I put in Dabber Cake How To, going to change that up for me and yeah again estimated visits I think this is I think this is per 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 day or per month I'm not sure uh, this is uh, how many times it's been shared on social media and domain score this is the authority a domain will have okay and that's about it so you can see here we suggest is uh, superior in many regards to uh, KW Finder but that being said, I have a, a soft spot for KW Finder. I used to use KW Finder in conjunction with Keyword Shitter a lot. Um, if, if you wanna, again, if you want a tutorial on that, I'll have a link somewhere within this video or in the description box. And if you wanna use KW Finder um, beyond five searches a day, they get pricey, okay? Um, I, I haven't bought into this, but you can if you want, if you, but I, I showed you Uber Suggest does exactly, if not more, than what KDB Finder does. But you know, Uber Suggest is 100% free. This one charges you 30 bucks for 100 searches a day, uh, 40 bucks, 40 bucks a month for 500 searches a day, and 80 bucks a month for 1,200 searches a day. It's very pricey, very expensive. I would X out of this. I would X out of this and I would stick to Uber Suggest. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this little tutorial, little explanations, little um, competition between <laughs> Uber Suggest and KW Finder. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, take care and don't forget to subscribe.